Hi there and welcome to My Week. I'm Christy McDonald. We are so glad that you could join us tonight. As parents cheer wildly, kids across the state are getting ready to go back to school after Labor Day. But what kind of education are they getting here in Michigan? How does it compare to other states? And are they learning everything they need to know to go on to higher ed, compete with the global economy, heck, just get a job after graduation? Tonight, we're devoting the entire show to education, from our K-12 through system here in the state, to teacher evaluations and their education, to the future of the Detroit public school system. Coming up, I have a conversation with the new state superintendent, Brian Whiston. Also, Stephen and Nolan are here, and we'll talk changes needed for Detroit public schools, and we'll have a look at some programs outside of the classroom that can help with student success. But let's start off with our MyWay contributors, Nolan Finley of the Detroit News and Stephen Henderson of the Detroit Free Press. Guys, I know you have your new backpacks, your new pair of shoes. You are ready to head back to I'm school, not going right? I'm back to school. Oh, I know. Sending those some kids. children back to school. Send that's those for sure. kids back to school. It's been a long end of the summer. Um, but, you know, as we start this entire show about education. They won't let me within 100 yards of school. For some reason. I don't that's know. an entirely order different or show altogether. I got that paper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but let me start with you guys. I and mean, we, we take a look at education in uh, Michigan, and let's focus really on K through 12. Um, what do you think are the, some of the biggest issues that we're facing right now? Nolan, I want to start with you. Infrastructure, we got too large an infrastructure for the number of students we have. We got to figure out a way to be leaner in, in our delivery of education. I think we haven't taken full advantage of technology, and we could do more with technology to not only cut costs and make education more efficient, but also to expose students students to the best instructors and to teach them in the way that they are used to learning. Every one of these kids, I've got a two-year-old and a three-year-old um, grandchildren, they're walking around with iPads under their, their arms. They're telling and, you how to use the and, iPads, and, I'm sure. You know, they're active, they're learning with their hands, they're, they're learning through their electronics. We send them to school and put them in rows and stand a teacher in front of them and lecture them the same way we did you know, back in the 1920s when there were no electronic stimulations. So we're not explo exploiting technology. We still make too many of our situations, our, our, our decisions, based on you know, what's best for the institution, what's best for um, you know, the adults, and not what makes the most sense for the students. So there's a lot of things, but I think one thing we don't talk about enough that's wrong with education is Michigan is what goes on in homes. I don't think in our homes there's enough commitment to education. There's not enough uh, parental uh, cooperation and partnership in educating ch children. We tend to send them off and say, you guys do it. And, uh, you know, all those factors. Well, it takes a little outreach there from the school system as well. All right, Stephen, what do you think? Uh, I, I would say money, and I mean that in two different ways. One is uh, the way we finance schools is absolutely broken here in, in Michigan. I've been talking the last couple of weeks with uh, superintendents from the metro area about what they're looking forward to this fall. Every single one of them talks about how, and it doesn't matter, wealthy district, poor district, they all say that the way that we decide how much money every district gets is, is broken. Proposal A was a wonderful idea when we did it in 1994, but it doesn't work uh, post uh, the, the, the sort of economic depression that we had at the end of the last decade. Uh, but the other, the other way I mean money is just in absolute terms. We do not spend enough in most districts uh, to, to, to provide an adequate education for, uh, for children. We're now doing an adequacy study uh, in Michigan, which I think will be a really important marker in terms of well, I can already uh, tell you what that's identifying, identifying how much you need to educate a kid. Uh, that should point us toward uh, reform.